Hey this and welcome back to another video on this channel and today I want to talk about the Skyping project EA again. Haven't talked about this project for a while now on the channel but I said I do not want to make like weekly updates because it's kind of boring. The system is just there, it's running on my server and it's doing its thing and it's now running for around three months already. So I think it's time for another comparison. Do the live resides really um, reflect the testing results and this is what I want to do in this video. So have a look at this. This is the server where I'm running the system at. It's still running in Euro US dollar and in USD Japanese yen and I haven't changed the settings for a while. You can see the account is currently in profit and if we have a look at my PC or maybe at this um, uh, at the MQL5 sys, uh, signal, you can also follow this account here. So you can, yeah, it's completely transparent. Just feel free to follow it here. But most important is that I will be running tests now with this exact same EA in the same period where I used it in a live trading account. And we will compare the performance in the live account to the testing performance to really figure out does this match or is the tester far better? I mean, you could assume that the tester is better because it is a Skyping system and um, slippage has a huge impact on the system. And of course, it would be really bad if the test is far better. So what I did is, um, first of all, I took all the trades from my server here. So all the trades from the history and put them into my uh, trade buddy trading journal, which is the free um, trading journal that you can also download on my webpage. Just check out the link below this video. And you can see <clears throat> here we have the exact same trades. So there are uh, 53 euro and some cents in profit. And this is the exact amount that is in profit for the account. So you can see these are all the trades. And also the graphic, of course, shows like, yeah, the, the actual performance. So th these are just all the trades that the account did. And why did I move it to this trading journal? I did this because I can now go ahead and filter here and I will filter um, starting at the 11th of October 2022 because for the first few days when I launched um, or when I started trading the Skyping project EA on this account I used a little bit different settings and if you are interested in all the changes and stuff just check out the last videos on the channel I explained everything there like I made so many videos for this bot but here we just want to go ahead and search for the magic number one because it will give me all the euro US dollar trades starting at the 11th of October 2022 and you can see the profit here is 37.95 in the live trading account so let's go over to my mt5 and you can see i use the scalping project ea here starting 11th of october oh wait i should um yeah no it's correct 11th of october um and if we have a look at the inputs you can see these are indeed the inputs that I use on the server. So I trade buy and sell trades, time frame one hour, bus NS10, volume percent, I risk 5% per trade, 240p and SL, and TSL trigger points are 20 for Euros dollar here. And I do not use the drawdown monitoring. And yeah, I filter the night hours. So these are the settings. They are exactly the same as I use them on the server. So if I just give it a go in the uh, visual mode, we can really go ahead and have a look at the trades and compare them. So let's let's do this. Like for example, here we already saw the first two trades. And what we can do now is we can compare these trades to the trades that were actually executed in the live account here. So if we have a look at this, you can see, let me make this a little bit bigger. So at the upper side of the screen, you see my trade buddy trading journal where you see the trades from the actual live trading account. And below this, we have the trades from the strategy tester. So if we have a look at the first trade, the first trade was at five um, uh, o'clock and uh, 23 minutes. And you can see that's the exact same time that we also see in the strategy tester. And the result is actually a little bit better in the live trading account than it was in the tester. Then the second trade, also the time should be matching. Yes, it is. And the result is just some sense better in the uh, strategy tester. So you can see so far the trades are really similar. Let's have a look at some more trades here maybe to get a better picture. So um, 
Yeah, let's have a look at two more trades, for example. So we can now see, I will not compare every single trade, but just for the first, uh, for the first few trades to get a good feeling here. So you can see the next trades, like the trading times are always kind of spot on here. If we compare the tester to the live trading um, trades, the results are a little bit different. I would say on average, it's actually a little bit better in the live trading account. But I mean, yeah, there are differences, um, but it's not like, the test is always better or the live trading account is always better. It's sometimes one account is better, sometimes the other account is better. So let me just uh, make this a little bit smaller so the test will run really quickly and you can see it here right now. And I will just test this month for the Euro US dollar and then we do the overall comparison, like what are the numbers. And then we will also have a look at USD Japanese Yen, of course, because it is the second market that I trade in this account. So, um, yeah, if we have a look at um, the trade body again, we should generate a profit of around um, 37 US dollar or euro in this case for this account. And if we can see this here in this um, uh, tester also, it means that the testing results are really similar to the live trading results. And um, yeah, right now the tester seems to be a little bit better, but there's another losing trade, which makes it um, worse for the last trades. So let's have a look at the key figures here. So actually the tester was a little bit better and the tester generated a profit of 42.27 um, uh, profit. So there is a little bit of a difference. The tester is actually better, um, but it's not a super crazy difference. So maybe let's have a look at the last few trades. Yeah, you can see here for the last trade, the tester was better. But then if we have a look at this trade, for example, the live performance was far better. So it's kind of hard to say that um, the tester is always better or the live account is always better. I think it's more like some trades are better in this account, some trades are better in the tester. But overall, if we have a look at um, just the graphic, for example, we can see that it is actually kind of similar. So if we compare um, the graph of uh, the actual live trades with the um, with the graph in the in the strategy tester, you can see it's kind of similar. I mean, we have a losing trade here. We have um, some bigger wins here. We have a losing trade here, which is actually not in the strategy tester. This is interesting. So this would also explain why we have more. Uh, or a better performance in the strategy tester, looks like we have one losing trade more in the actual live account. And this kind of explains it. I mean, here in the test side it says four losing trade and in the trade body it also says four losing trades, but it's kind of weird. I don't really see the losing trade here. If I have a look at the graph, one, two, three, but yeah. Okay, so you you you, you see um, where, where this is going. It's kind of similar. So let's have a look at USD Japanese Yen. And I have to change the input just a little bit because I use 40 TSL trigger points. The rest is kind of the same. So let's run another back test here. Euro US dollar was actually kind of similar, I would say. Not super perfect, but there was a um, gap of, yeah, around 10% when it comes to the actual performance in the end. Um, which is kind of okay-ish, I would say. But let's have a look at the next um, market that I trade here, which is this, uh, wait, where's my trade buddy? Oh, there it is, which is USD Japanese Yen. So I go ahead in the trade buddy, I filter USD Japanese Yen now, which has the magic number two in this account. So if I filter this, you would see all the USD Japanese Yen trades here now. And this generated a profit, which is actually a lot smaller than the euro solid profit here it is only 14 euro so yeah let's have a look at this also so um maybe we can also have a look at the first two or three trades here like we did before and then we will just have a look at the overall performance so there were no trades yet i think there we will see another buy trade yes so let's have a look at the first two trades maybe so here we saw like the first trade in the um, in the tester was 7.30, which is this trade. So the time is correct. And there's a profit in the tester and there's a similar profit, as you can see here, in the um, trade body. 
Oh, the trade buddy is in German right now, but this uh, Gewinn is a profit in English. So, um, yeah, so this trade is, uh, is kind of correct. So then um, the second trade, this is actually really interesting because we had a losing trade in the live trading account and a winning trade uh, or small profit in the tester. So this will already make a big difference, I think. Um, maybe we can have a look at two more trades. But what's actually interesting is that the time when these trades are executed is always really accurate. So that's a good thing, of course. Next trade is... Yeah, the next trade is actually far better in the live trading account than it is in the tester. So yeah, it's similar to the um, euro dollar, I think. Sometimes the tester is better, sometimes the um, um, the trade buddy or the, the live account is better. So now I switch the live account here to the upper end of the screen. And I will place the trades on the of the strategy test side, the lower end of the stream uh, screen, so I can compare one or two more trades. And I will also compare the um, actual numbers in the end. But it looks like, yeah, right now the tester is looking really good, so it might be a little bit better here. We will see if the test is finished. Yeah, that's another losing trade. So um, yeah, we will just make the same comparison. Maybe we can have a look at the graph first. So yeah, you can see until this point, everything went kind of smoothly, but now we should see uh, some of these losing trades here. Oh no, okay, this is crazy. The Tesla is actually performing way better than the, than the live account, which is really... It's not good, I would say, because it means that we cannot actually trust the tester as I would like to. But let's have a look at the, at the key figures here. So backtest, 51 trades in the tester and 54 trades in the live trading account. Overall profit is 14 Euro in the live trading account and in the strategy tester it is um, 47 so there's a really big difference then let's have a look at maybe some more some more trades here and we saw far more losing trades in the actual account than we saw in the um, in the tester let me just check the inputs again I think the inputs are correct these are the inputs that I trade with TSL trigger points 40 so I'm wondering why there is such a big gap. TSL trigger points 40, TSL points is 10. Yeah, so this is actually the same. So let's have a look at the um, backtesting trades, at some of these trades. So maybe let's have a look at the last few trades here. And this is the profit. This is matching for the last trade. Then the trade before this was actually a lot better in the tester. Then this trade was also better in the tester. This trade was better in the um, uh, live account. So right now I don't really see where the big differences are coming from. These trades are also really similar. Just searching for the like big trades here, but they all seem to be kind of similar, I would say. But it looks like overall the live trading account had a lot more losing trades. So let me see if I can find this one 14th of December. Yeah, I think there's already a difference. So you can see, like here at the upper side of the screen, we see 14th of December we have this losing trade minus 17 which is actually quite a lot and if we have a look at the um, result from the test side it was actually a profit so maybe we can have a look at this trade in detail here so 14th of December okay this was the trade here and this was a big loss in the live account and here it was actually a profit and yeah this might be because um, there was some news event or some major um, event that kind of changed or put some 
pressure on the market. Let's have a look at this in the chart. Yeah, you can see this all happened in one minute. So there was probably just a big spike. There was probably a worse or a bad execution here or a really bad execution here in the live trading account. <clears throat> and the tester was not able to um, uh, simulate the slippage here. So the execution was, I think, better in the tester, which generated this really big loss in the live account, but not in the strategy tester. And yeah. This is actually um, a problem that you have if you are testing. And um, even though I tested here, you can see with the best possible method, like the every tick based on real tick method, it's still not perfect. And it's still like there can be big differences. Um, and like this single trade, which was a, a loss in the... Um, uh, in the live account here of 17 or nearly 18 euro and a profit of around four or five euro in the tester, this can make such a huge difference because if you add up these values, it's a, it's a difference of 22 euro or 23 even, which is crazy. So if we have a look at the overall uh, performance again now, it kind of makes sense because if we... Um, uh, wait, where's the overall performance of the tester? If we have a look like here at the tester result and the um, the actual live trading result there's a gap of like 30 33 euro and if this single trade already makes a difference of 20 euro we only need two of these trades like where the live performance or the live execution was way worse than the tester to actually create such a big gap if we compare the testing and the live trading results so this is why you should not try to over optimize or try to or you, you should never take these testing results for granted so we saw that for euro US dollar it worked out kind of fine i would say because the results were really similar the um, most of these trades were kind of spot on but there were of course some differences in the overall performance but it was not so crazy but here i would say for usd japanese yen it's actually a yeah, this is kind of dramatic right now because there's such a huge difference when we compare the testing to the live trading results. And I really have to think about this and think about like how I want to, um, uh, yeah, how I want to react on this. If I will have to make changes uh, on the system or anything. Um, yeah, I would, I would have to think about this, but yeah, this is, I think, the summary already for this video. So the testing can be kind of accurate, but it can be way off also, like we saw here. And yeah, especially here for, if we have a look at the graphs again, maybe last time, if we have a look here at the um, performance of the strategy tester at the lower end of the screen and the actual live training account at the upper end of the screen, we saw there are or there can be like really big differences, especially here, like between trade 30 and 35. I think we had two more losing trades in the live trading account, which kind of made all the difference. So this is the impact one or two trades can have on the actual account performance if you trade a high risk system like the Skyping Project EA. So this is uh, interesting. I would have to think about it if I will make any changes. I don't know. Or maybe I, I will just give it one or two months more time and see how it develops. I mean, this could have been just bad luck for these two trades. Um, it's still only a few, a few months of using this program. And I mean, the overall performance in the live trading account, it's still kind of uh, satisfying to me. I mean, it's, it's worse than the tester now. This is... Um, what I can say for sure, but it's not worse overall. So yeah, I hope that you like this little comparison, just um, trying to be kind of honest here and trying to help you understand how to analyze your live trading, how to put everything into perspective, and that it is really important to not have too much trust into these backtests because it's not always super accurate. So, okay, so this is what I wanted to express with this video. Um, I hope that you liked it. I hope that it was not too confusing. I know I jump a lot um, uh, back and forth between like the different uh, windows of the testing program and the, uh, the trade body here. But I hope I was still able to deliver the message here. So um, anyways, uh, thanks for watching 
And um, yeah, have a great time. Good trade. Bye-bye.